Yes, and this is a Swiss CV Mark III uh, with 22 channels and includes the Tashiba TC9111 and now we will change the channel selector board or wooden board as 40 channel. Yes, a lot of Uniden transceiver were made for the European market to have just 22 channels and this is a 22 channel selector with this channel display here. Yes. And in a lot of uh, transceivers we can change this 22 channel selector module or board with this. This is a 40 channel module by Uniden. And now we will build in this 40 channel selector uh, into this Swiss ZB Mark III. And then we get 40 channels. Okay, and I will resolder the flat band cable here. The flat band cable from the channel selector. This is this part here, the flat band cable. And I will change it with a 40 channel channel selector here. Okay, and now we will remove the channel selector, the old 22 channels, channel selector here, we will remove this, and then we get four channels, it's a very simple thing here, and okay, and we remove this module here. Okay, the 40 channel selector is already installed, built in here. Take a look, 40 channel, yeah. Okay, and the synthesizer in there is also, we can see, the TC9111. Yes. And this here is the special Toshiba TC9111BP PLL synthesizer made for the European market. What's the difference between the TC... Yes, TC9109. The TC9109 is a 40-channel ram tail programmed PLL synthesizer. And what's the difference between this 9109 and this 9111 PLL synthesis. What's the difference? Okay, we are back. We check the channels. Channel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22. This is the original channel chart from Swiss CB Mark III. And now we go one channel higher on 23. And now the radio is unlocked. No TX. No TX. No receive. What's the problem of this? Why it works not? Why it works. Yes, and this is the program chart from TC9109, the 40 channel uh, PLL synthesizer by Toshiba. And we can see here programming chart from channel 1 to channel 40. And we have not information about TC9111. And I'm very sure the programming chart or programming table goes just to channel 22. And when we will go to channel 
23 to channel 40, the PLL synthesizer TC9111 goes in the unlock position. We will look that. Okay, and now we are on channel 1, and this voltage you can see as the voltage output on pin 4. On the PLL synthesizer, this is the loop detect, this is the unlock output input. And when the output is high, like this 8.3 volts, the PLL synthesizer is locked. And we will turn on the ch uh, channel selector. All the channels between 1 and 22. Okay, on 20, 8.3, channel 22, this is the highest channel of the TC9111, and now we switch it to 23, and what's up, no lock, unlock position, low signal, yes, that's the problem, and I'm very sure, when I change, the TC9111 here in this VCB Mark III with a TC9109. The VCB MK3 will get 40 channels. And now I will change the TC9111 to the TC9109. Okay, now uh, we will remove the PLL synthesizer and we'll change TC9111 with TC9109. Uh, this blue wire here, this is the switch to channel 40. Okay. Uh, we'll remove the TC9111 here. Uh, good, good, okay. Very nice, very uh, nice here. And now the TC91 here. TC9109 here. Yes, uh, we'll go in here with a socket with a socket here I think it's no problem okay okay we'll resolve the pins uh. This is the lock detect. Uh, and I yes, okay and ground and here P one. This is a special crystal sold. And this one here is channel 40. Pin to channel 40. And now we look what's up. We're a transceiver here. Okay, let's go the power. Okay, yes. We are, we have signal on channel 23 and on 30 and on 40, yeah. Yes, the modification is done. Okay, the difference between TC9109 and TC 2911 here is just the program.
code table here from channel 1 to channel 22. There are just 22 channel programs here in the RAM table. And on the TC9109 there are 40 channels. That's the difference. 